Hello and welcome. I'm Jake Langsy, the Pondologist with another Aqua Eden educational video. Today I want to talk about hand feeding wild birds. Hand feeding wild birds has always been a dream of mine and a goal since I was young. I remember being at the age of oh probably nine or ten years old and I was underneath my grandfather's feeder and the way the birds came in they would sit on the feeder and I was too small but their little tails would hang down and I would reach up with my hand and kind of brush their tails just so I could get closer to the, to the birds. I was never actually successful at that age of hand feeding wild birds so it's always been a lifelong goal of mine. And this year I have finally fulfilled that goal and I want to share with you some tips and tricks on how I was able to do it and how I was able to do it uh, very quickly I would say. Traditional methods involve sitting in a, a chair uh, by your feeders for many hours on end, many weeks on end, to try to get them used to you. And, or the other method is, is setting up actually a dummy of yourself, like stuffing your coat and your, your pants and making a scarecrow of yourself with a little glove and, and letting the birds kind of get used to that. Um, I really didn't have the time to do that, so this method that I'm using here works really good on the bird that we're going to shoot today is the common red pole and actually even a hoary red pole. I've been successful in hand feeding both of these species. And these species are found in northern Canada. They breed up in the Arctic Circle region. And every few winters they come down and they interrupt our, our state, southern Minnesota. And this has been a really great year for common red poles, often having 60 to 70 at the feeder at one time. And I've been able to also pick out two hoary red poles, which I, show, I hope will show up during this video. A little bit about a background, setting up the stage before we start hand feeding wild birds. We want to create a habitat that uh, I guess you could say is uh, all inclusive. So we have this feeding station behind me. We keep it stocked with the right proper seed. These birds really prefer uh, thistle seed. I have friends in town where the, the red poles seem to uh, f prefer sunflower chips. So it all really depends on the area uh, and your location. So we, we, we provide the food for them. We keep it consistently filled. Um, I never let my feeders go empty if I can, if I can handle it. Um, what you'll find, even like you say yourself, if you're going to the store and they're out of a particular food item three, four times in a row, you're going to start going to a different store. And that's the same thing with these birds. They develop a habit, they come to your feeder, so you've got to keep them maintained and you've got to keep them full of the right and proper seed. Also, we have a water feature here where they're able to drink liquid water in the winter so they're not having to use uh, their energy to cool, to, to, to uh, warm, actually melt the snow. And this provides uh, an area where they, they don't have to leave our property. We have also plantings here, uh, conifers, uh, other uh, deciduous trees and fruit trees. So the more we can create an area of a, a, a habitat where they, they stay, the, the, the longer they're around us and the more they get used to us. So, and also, I'm often out in my backyard, grilling out on my deck in the winter time. So they, they, they start to get used to me, even though I'm not standing by my feeder, I, I'm in close proximity, and the, 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 long, the more they get used to you. So that's kind of setting the stage for the next step, which is um, kind of find a day. We just got a, uh, a really nice five to six inches of snowfall that fell in southern Minnesota today. So the birds are hungry, a lot of their natural food sources are covered up. So this is a great opportunity to, uh, to hand feed them. So the method I'm going to use here is I'm going to take down almost all these feeders and I'm going to leave one up. I like to leave one because I find that the birds, while they're in the trees and they're close, they really don't like to fly cold turkey and it's hard to get them to fly cold turkey directly into your hand. So the goal here is we're going to get the birds to build up on the feeder and as they come in they're going to be fighting on the perches and eventually some birds will start to, to fly and see the seed that's located in our hand. And when they start getting used to that, other birds in the area, oh look, the, the hand's okay, let's go feed there. So you can have five, six at a time feeding out of your hand. I like to try to move my hand a little bit away from the feeder to kind of get them used to also uh, feeding away from the feeder. So let's uh, get set up here, let's take some of these feeders down and start hand feeding some wild birds. All right, we're set up here. We have the single feeder that's uh, ready to go, filled up with thistle seed. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand here and kind of face my body towards the camera, away from the feeders, and also my, my vision will be looking kind of down and in an angle. And you also notice, you'll, you'll notice as these birds start to come in, I'll often have my eyes closed or barely open. And this is just the first birds that are starting to come in. They're getting a little nervous, they're looking at you, they don't know what to do. Uh, so as they start to get more comfortable, I'll start to open my eyes and I'll start to uh, move my hand closer to the feeder. Uh, sometimes even a technique that I'll use if they're not coming, 
I'll actually just slowly move up underneath them and actually pick them off the feeder. See if we can try to get a uh, hoary red pole this time. We've got some common so far, so let's go for the hoary. Alright, now the final step is to take the feeders totally down and just stand in the vicinity of the feeders with our hands open with seed. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Hand Feeding Wild Birds. I hope you learned a thing or two and can take some of these tips to your own backyards and attract some species to your hand. I would love to hear some of your comments, questions, feedback on our blog, our website, aquaeden.com, or our YouTube channel. And also, if you're coming through the southern Minnesota area and you would like to experience this for yourself, you're welcome to come by 
Just drop me an email, jake at aquaeden.com, and we'll get you hand feeding some common red poles. Thank you.